It is September 9th, Monday, and I am cycle day one. At least I'm pretty sure it's happening today. Um, had a little bit of a tinge this morning, um, but then nothing after that. So it's only 12.41 p.m., so uh, we'll see what happens here. But um, I did take an LH strip just to start things off. I will be taking one of these every single day of this natural cycle I'm doing to make sure that, uh, to keep a watch on the test line, to make sure that it stays negative until maybe cycle day 10, where hopefully it'll start uh, gradually getting darker instead of just having a positive line all the time. However, my basal body temperature is still very reliable when it comes to this, and my ovulation temperatures usually drop pretty significantly before going to 97.3 something which is usually ovulation day. Anyway, so I have the easy at home here. I'm just gonna see if the line is positive or what's going on. Okay, so, okay, so it's very dark, but uh, I don't think it would be a positive, but it's very, very, very close. So I am hoping that this line starts to back off and I'm going to start a three day water and apple cider vinegar fast starting Wednesday. And uh, so long as today is day one of my cycle. And then I will fast uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So cycle day three, four and five and go from there. So hopefully my tests will be negative for the next week and start to increase as my body starts to grow a follicle to ovulate. So anyway, so that is it for cycle day one. Okay, it is September 10th and I am cycle day two. So I went ahead and took my LH strip for cycle day two. I'm taking one every single day uh, up until ovulation and uh, <clears throat> to see if uh, hopefully these will all be negative. So I'm hoping for negative tests. So yesterday was a 0.73. My basal body temperature this morning was 97.38. And we'll see what this looks like. Okay, so technically still <clears throat> pretty dark. Uh, I'll take a picture and, and give you the app ratio. Uh, I start my three-day fast tomorrow, and um, so I will be posting this mid-fast, and uh, or maybe even at the maybe even day three of the fast. I'm not sure, just depending on how my schedule goes, and to see if these lines during the fast get really light like they did last time. That was awesome. I think it was a 0.38 or something like that. So yeah, I'll take a picture, show it to you, and this concludes. Uh, cycle day two tomorrow I start my three-day fast okay so this video is a little different um, it's September 10th Tuesday and uh, my daughter and I got home from school and after I had gotten her dinner ready and uh, Hannah was sitting down to eat her dinner I noticed Winnie, our youngest dog, was streaking through the backyard with some large thing in her mouth and I thought she didn't have uh, a big stick or something, like I didn't know what it was and then she ran into the house with it and my husband said, you know, I hear a squeaking, I think, I think she brought in a mouse and so I ran to the couch and in the back of the couch was a little newborn baby bunny. So last year, I, I think it was earlier this spring, we found another bunny and the, the sister bunny, I didn't even see that one laying there on the sidewalk. And so a nest had gotten disturbed and the bunnies were on the sidewalk in, on the side yard. Well, this time I did find the nest and the nest was dug underneath one of my large uh, fern type plants. I don't even know what, what, what it's called. Um, so I found the nest and there were no other bunnies in it that I could find. And I wanted to put the bunnies back, but the problem is our dogs have access to that and that's how the bunnies were ripped from their nest was from our dogs. 
and I don't want the dogs to get them again. And so I'm going to see if I can keep them alive and raise them up just a couple weeks for them to be able to hop away and live in the wild, which would be our backyard and all around. So I'm at the pet store right now to get that milk that I got last time and hopefully this time not overfeed the bunnies. And because there are two of them, they have each other to stay warm. And I did take the grass and some of the mommy's hair um, to help keep them warm and keep familiar smells. One of the bunnies ears is torn and the back of her head is torn open a little bit. I'm really hoping that she recovers he, she recovers and that it heals. Uh, hope she lives. We'll see what happens. Okay, so this is the milk replacer. This is the kitten milk replacer. And this is the nursing kit. The problem I had with this is there is no way to, it's too much and I can't gauge how much I'm giving them. So I'm not getting this. There we go, that's better. You can see them now. So, you okay? This one's okay. Can I give this guy a The bunny was eating right from the, we got distracted with the dogs and it was eating. And when I looked back, it was eating from the dropper. So that's good. You mommy, ate. Mommy, can I touch it? In a minute. You eating? Yeah. In the camera, I can see that he has some juicy little... Yeah, milk. he ate. Oh, good. We got to get the other one to eat, too. Mommy, can I put this on Benny when he's put down? Get that wound. That's so sad. I don't... Maybe I can put liquid... Let me see. I don't know Let what me to do. See. It is September 11th, Wednesday, and I am cycle day three. And I uh, took an LH strip to see if it is lighter than 0.74. I started out Monday 0.73. Yesterday was 0.74, so it went up a little bit. So I'm curious to see. I have now been fasting for 24 hours, so I have gotten through my first day of fasting. And uh, we'll see how it might be affecting my hormones. So let's take a look and see if hormones are being good or if they're still high. Hmm. <laughs> Dang it, it's getting darker. It's getting darker even though I am 24 hours into my fast cycle day three. So I'll take a picture of this and let's uh, see what the app gives it. Well, unfortunately it went up to 0.94. Well, anyway, so that is it for cycle day three and uh, hopefully day two of fasting gets better results. So, all right, see you tomorrow. All right, well, today is September 12th and uh, I should be cycle day four and I should be calling this cycle day four and I do believe my hormones have started, but I have not had a period. It, I, it started, I started to see something on Monday it was a very pale pink tinge and then nothing after that, nothing, except a little bit of yellow CM and again, nothing. And then today it was all clear. What is going on? I mean, was my lining so horrible or did it resorb? I'm thinking it resorbed. So yesterday's LH strip was getting higher. I have one now. It is probably a good 10 minutes since I took it. So uh, we'll see what it looks like and go from there. <laughs> mm. Mm. So dark. Okay, this is super, super dark. The fasting is not doing what it did last time. 
So, I mean, it's good for my waistline. It's definitely helping me, you know, lose the rest of the weight I wanted to lose. And, you know, the autophagy, the cellular repair, and all of the health, health benefits are definitely there. But it is not taking this FSH down any, and I am having a very high, high LH right now. So I'll take a picture and see if this is above a 0.94. It is September 13th, Friday, and I am calling today cycle day five. I know that I'm cycle day five. However, I did not, not have much of a period at all. And um, I know that I've had that in the past and it's because my lining was so incredibly terrible that I, uh, it, and it may have also resorbed too what what was there could have also resorbed which I didn't know that it could resorb and the nurses I found out at CNY said oh yeah your lining can resorb I did take <clears throat> I did take an LH strip um, I did break my fast yesterday so I only did a 48 hour fast two days because it uh, I ended up running over my husband's birthday and so I ended up breaking my fast yesterday so that we could have so that we could celebrate his birthday with a birthday dinner um so but you know after seeing that these weren't doing anything but rising i wasn't really motivated to complete three days just because the whole point of it was to keep this low and negative and it didn't do that this time so let's see what this looks like uh, now it is about two o'clock in the afternoon so yeah, so it's just super dark, and it was a 1.02 yesterday, so I think. But I do believe today's still cycle day five because I know my body pretty well, and I am having all the signs and symptoms of a follicular phase with the uh, aching and poking in my ovaries. The, the app gave it a 0.86, which is a lot lower than yesterday, but I think, I I don't know if my urine was that great. I think it was, but, um, so I might be just doing this. Um, so I think I, I will continue to take my basal body temperature. My temperature was actually a norm, normal temperature today. So I know that the hormones have been activated for my ovaries to start up again. So the lining was terrible. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be inseminating this cycle. I, I'm, you know, the only the only way I would inseminate at this point is if I'm in the ovulation temperatures. I will go ahead and order sperm, and take the chance. It's hard to know what's going on. I'm not going to waste that money because I need it to go toward, uh, you know, I'm I'm almost 100% sure I'm doing the egg donor thing. Uh, so they're going to let me know today where I stand as far as being in line. They were going to check to see if the recipient ahead of me was going to accept or decline. But the problem is I'm not ready to be, uh, to do it this soon. I'm not ready to be number one because I forgot that I still have to buy the sperm separately and the sperm is like $1,200. And it's upsetting that it is so much money for an ART vial. ART stands for Assisted Reproductive Technology. And those vials are specific to IVF where they only have about 2 million sperm in them, which uh, to, to have to pay that much for an ART vial is, um, criminal in my eyes it really is so anyway um but that's you know and then to pay a hundred dollars to get to see what the guy looks like is just you know that's seattle sperm bank you know 99 dollars to see what your sperm donor looks like as an adult and i just i think that is such a rip off that they would charge extra to know what you're getting you know to to be able to see what you're getting it's it's just, it's, I just think it's, it's just criminal. Anyway, um, so that is it. Um, update on the bunny. I did take the bunny to Southwest Florida uh, Wildlife Rescue. That's in Venice. That's just the town below me. And was not too impressed when I showed up with the bunny because this girl came out, wouldn't even look me in the eye. Just very, you know, looked very, um, 
like she was just bored with it all and gave me a form to fill out and where I found it was you know a disturbed nest and you know uh, I understand this is not my animal anymore you know and stuff like that and um, so I signed the little bunny away and I didn't even say goodbye to him she just took the box and and walked away and I'm just I, I was kind of choking up a little bit I was like getting emotional and I thought dang it you know if this ever happens again I'm keeping the bunny I'm gonna get a cage and uh, you know it's just I just I didn't I'm not doing that again I'm not taking them to the rescue um, I'll figure it out I'll get a cage because this is most likely gonna happen again um, because we have wild rabbits all over the place and you know so hopefully they will not build their nest in our yard anymore and um, that hopefully this won't happen for a really long time. So anyway, um, all right, so that is it for this small update of Cycle Day 5, and hopefully uh, things will turn around and look good next week. And like I said, I'm getting all the signs and symptoms as if I'm having a regular follicular phase. So I'll just keep watching my basal body temperature. I'll keep taking these tests, and if they start to get um, you know, 1.4, 1.5. I'll see what my temperature is doing and see if there is any fertile CM showing up. And if so, I will message the donor. So that is it from me for now. And uh, hope you're all doing well. And I will see you soon. Bye.